Well, hello, gentlemen uh, and guys and young men. Because we're not all gentlemen all the time. I know I'm not. Sometimes my halo slips a bit. But we're all men still. No, I haven't put any videos on this weekend up to now because I've been doing some work at home. Plumbing. I hate plumbing. But it's all done now and I don't hear any water running anywhere at the moment. Man, I got my friend with me tonight. It's a cold one. It's really cold beer, you know, just before it freezes. Kinda got that little bite to it. But you gotta be careful when you want them that cold, cause it could be a beer popsicle as well. So, you guys living alone, or you're living with somebody, or how many people are in your place? Well, there could be more than you think, actually. I'll put a link to a story down below to a man that was living in Manhattan, I believe, with his femon girlfriend. And he was noticing that food items were going missing, especially in the fridge. So he asked his femon about it and she said it wasn't her. Course, I wouldn't have believed her anyway, but anyway, he put a camera up in his kitchen to see where the food was going. And he saw femon get out of the top cupboard, which wasn't his girlfriend, take a pee in the sink and go raid the fridge. And I think she even went to see some TV as well and got some more stuff from the fridge and then returned to her cupboard. And anyway, it was found out she'd been living there probably about two weeks or more without anybody knowing about it. Kind of scary? Well, don't worry. I've checked my whole place out. Under the bed, in the cupboard, everywhere. I haven't found a femon yet, but I'm still looking. But what a strange story, isn't it? So the next story is about a femon who has 36p boobs and wants to get a reduction. She wants it done on the NHS, but they won't do it. They don't think it's severe enough, I guess. Some women would be happy to have something like that. They go and get it done, don't they? But it's the attitude of this femon. She expects somebody to fix it for her. I mean, it's not her fault, is it? Anyway, I don't believe the size of the breasts is the amount of milk. It doesn't work that way, I don't believe. I'm not a breast man myself, they just gotta have something there, you know. And of course, I can't say too much either because I went in for a reduction long time ago for my penis. It was far too big, really. But I paid for it myself. I didn't expect anybody else to. Didn't expect society to pay for it either. And of course, it also might help if she slimmed down a little bit. <laughs> but, you know, that's another thing altogether. And as usual, let me know what you think. Uh, and the next one is quite funny, I think. So this was on a dating site, and of course the femon was testing the male as they always do all the time, playing games. If he went to Tesco's and buy her something as a surprise, what would he get her? Man, I guess the guy's seen her picture of her and everything, and he said, slim fast. <laughs> Oh, and of course she was mortified by that answer, which was very honest, I think. But femons don't want honesty, they just want somebody who they can control and thinks they're their goddesses all the time. And if the truth be known, he would probably be the best guy she could have gone with. Because she needs a reality check like most of them do. Anyway, I don't know the guy, he probably never got a date with her, thank God for that. But whoever you are, I salute you, sir. God, I like the next one as well, man. A femon claims that her cheating boyfriend got engaged on their anniversary to the other woman. And she is gobsmacked about it. Well, it's from a femon, so it may or may not be true or twisted in some way. But femons do it all the time, don't they? They just tell a man, oh, I don't want to see you anymore, and all of a sudden she's with another guy that she had on tow. They never usually leave one guy if they haven't got another one ready. So a man did it to a femon. I love it. And that's another man that I'd have a drink with. <laughs> Next one. Well, increasingly we see more and more femons acting immoral and disgusting behavior. And of course, when one femon does something disgusting for attention, the other femon now has to do something more disgusting. And of course, they have no shame at all. This female flight attendant apparently slept with the whole crew when they were grounded one time. Well, I guess that would mean the femons and the males. So she doesn't care. 
Apparently she has something to do with sex problems. She has to have sex a lot or something. Yes, they are quite normal. They're called nymphomaniacs. And I mean, have you ever noticed how many mental disorders there are out there now? I think they make them up as they go along, don't they? And there's a lot of times when femons walk around half naked and some people say something and they are shocked. Well, there is children around, dear, you know. And all they're doing is advertising sex because really, that's all they have to offer. But femons seem to be really proud of how many men they've had sex with. Well, it certainly doesn't make them great material for a mate. But they don't seem to realize that. You see, it's not the man that makes everything into sex. He just does it and it's done and it's over with. But femons, that's all they have, that's all they're advertising, that's all they want to say. And if I remember correctly, just a while back they said stop treating us like sex objects. Well, they all dress like something in the night, don't they? Anyway, I'd like to know your opinions on these things. And this may be my last video tonight, I don't know. But you take it easy, whatever you do. And don't forget to check your cupboards now.